Hey, what's going on, guys? DJ has here bringing you guys this week's Collective Kicks weekly recap. It is Friday, the 28th of February, and uh, look at the new layout. Now, so this is actually a mock-up. I wanted to give you guys a preview for those that watch these videos every week uh, and are, are interested in the website. So this is a mock-up of the new Collective Kicks layout. Um, it's a work in progress. Um, I want some feedback from you guys. Leave some comments. Let me know what you guys think. The top bar area where you see the thumbnails um, will actually have scrollovers, and that will be like the top trending articles. Um, on the site and then you can see the the logo here is it says our sponsors and stuff like that so we'll have our logo uh, a little bit more around the site which I thought was good and we'll have the the featured scroll page like in the in the middle and then um, each of the individual uh, articles as you can see here also you can see that um, there's gonna be some share buttons here and, and of course the Instagram and YouTube ones aren't gonna be there it's gonna be Twitter and stuff so you guys can share the articles if you want easily uh, then there's going to be the top uh, posts um, from the site for well, I don't I don't know the amount of time but it's it's another thing that we're going to be adding in so you guys will have kind of a, a bigger look at a bunch of different things here uh, more sponsor ads and then uh, oh, it looks like kind of actually fun to play some pool there um, and then all the articles and then there'll be a thing at the bottom that says follow us and you can follow us on Facebook, which I am working on getting the Facebook access and Twitter and, and everything else. Also, there's going to be an, um, an email newsletter that you guys can sign up for. So lots of fun things at the bottom. There's the Instagram down here. Um, I might put a, a YouTube section in. If you guys have any suggestions, though, I'm, I'm all about the suggestions. This is the chance that, that if you have something that you want done on the site um, and, and it's a good idea that you guys have, we can make that happen. Because uh, my, my web guy is looking for the suggestions. Kit Cast is up here, weekly recaps, release dates, and, and so on. So looking forward to doing more of that. But that's kind of just a heads up on the, on the new site layout. This is the one we currently have, obviously. So let's go ahead and jump in. Going to be a long video. Somebody wanted me to try to sum these up in the smaller uh, videos. But it's just really hard when you, when you have six pages of stories to go through. So I'll try to go through it quickly. Um, if less, unless you guys want quicker videos, leave a comment. And say, yeah, make make these quicker. If you want uh, videos that are longer, more detailed, like I usually do, give a little bit more insight on some of the things. Um, leave a comment. Let me know because I'll I'll definitely look at the comments um, and just get a feel for what you guys want. And this is really for you guys. Um, and it's actually good for me to give myself a re re recap of what actually happened during the week. But let's jump in. Sorry for the long intro. Um, I did the, a video on these already uh, today, earlier today, if you guys missed it. The Nike Tempo 94 pack. Um, I did a review of the Bread and the Royals. Um, really, really crazy quality sneakers. Really, really surprising. Um, and for a really good price, like $130, $135. But check out that video if you guys missed it. LeBron 11 South Beach get a release date. Supposedly this is going to be June 21st. Uh, I, it's going to be interesting to see. This will be the first like super hyped up colorway of the LeBron 11, regardless if people like the colorway or not, I, if it's going to be released, I guarantee it will be s probably the one of the only ones that actually sell out uh, really, really fast. But interesting that they're releasing it so far in June because we're going to have the elites already coming through, I believe, in April or May or something like that anyway. So we'll have uh, more information on that as the story kind of develops. Uh, Kobe 9 Elite Lakers colorway. If you guys missed that, there's another look at those. Pretty crazy looking sneakers. Um, you can see that that uh, is definitely a Laker inspired um, sneaker. And PJ Tucker was one that actually ended up wearing them on court. Three Lab Five, uh, or excuse me, the Air Jordan Three Five Lab Threes get a release date uh, with a silver tongue uh, inspired reflective 3M material and the clear soles on those. Those things are pretty crazy looking. I've been teasing about this a while, but expect to see a second colorway like we did with the um, Three Lab Fives. Um, and, uh, just, I mean, take a guess as to what the other one will look like. I mean, it's going to be reflective 3M as well. Uh, but anyway, uh, no, I don't want to say too much about that. Uh, Air Jordan 6, uh, Black Infrared, rumored for Black Friday 2014. Interesting. Um, excited about that. It'll be a nice replacement for the Oreo, uh, fives for that were for Black Friday last year. Uh, these ones are going to be crazy. I, I'm looking forward to it. I really want to know what the color is going to look like, though. We, this isn't the official image of the shoe. This is actually one from the previous retro in 2010 or whatever. But for the new one, uh, I want to know if it's going to be more like the infrared, uh, the white infrareds with a really, really pink color, or if it's going to be um, more reddish or whatever it's going to be. I, I just am curious to see how it's going to come out. I think it's going to look great, though, uh, and definitely looking forward to that shoe. It's one that I've never had in my collection, and it will help me fulfill some of that OG um, nostalgic feeling that I need, right? Uh, anyway, Air Jordan 11 Low Concord get a uh, possible release date of May 3rd, 2014. So look for those in May. 
pretty uh, crazy. May is going to be coming up faster than we think, man. That's only a couple months away. Uh, but uh, those ones are definitely going to be a must pick up as well. I think for a lot of people, they look really nice. And it's a nice little segue shoe to the summer. Uh, new upcoming LeBron colorway. Don't know what these ones are. And somebody actually pointed this out to me on Twitter. So shout out to them. Look at the shoe. There's no um, fly wire. So that's really interesting. He said that it could be an LS or a GLS, a GS size. But if that's a GS size, um, it, it, they look bigger than GS sizes. So I'm not sure why there's no fly wire on that. It's very interesting. Also, I was saying, well, maybe what if these were the NBA 2K14 LeBrons, which we still haven't seen, which I'm supposed to be getting mine in March, supposedly. Uh, so as soon as we see images of those, I know people that are not getting the shoe for sure are just going to hate on them, uh, regardless of how they look. Um, some people are going to be hyped about them. I I'm just hoping they look dope. These ones look pretty cool. The other thing to note about this LeBron upcoming colorway uh, is that the logo on the tongue is different than the previous ones. Uh, pretty interesting. Definitely want to know more about it. It's a vibrant looking sneaker. And uh, yeah, pretty pretty interesting stuff. Fake of the, Fakes of the year for the first contender. I'm not sure what these are. Um, uh, Kicks Reason wrote that article. If you guys want to check that one out, feel free to check that out. Um, the Sacconi or Sacconi Grid 9000. Three dot pack is available if you guys want to check that out. Kickstarter 12 wrote that one, and the Supreme Scott I don't know what that is. Spring um, collaboration jacket. Um, there's some more information on that from Joe Manning, uh, who wrote that article. So a lot of those articles. Shout out to the writers. I, I don't know um, a lot about those things. So uh, Kicks Reason Adidas um, equipment key training or trainers are coming back. Those actually look pretty wild. Look at that uh, sole. Um, I don't think I've actually ever, ever seen those ones, but it's an NFL shoe. Yeah, from 96, it looks like. So, um, yeah, not not my cup of tea. Air Jordan 2, white and red are returning in 2014. Not sure how these are going to go. It's supposed to be happening in summer. And um, considering they came out in 08, I believe, with the Countdown Pack, and they were accompanied with the 21s, the Countdown Pack didn't do so well, though. And uh, that Countdown Pack, I remember, I think I actually got it for 250 or $200 on sale. Uh, so who knows, is this going to be a good thing that they're going to be bringing them back and are people going to go crazy about them or they, they're going to sleep on them like the previous, depending on how many they make. Again, I, I don't know how it's going to be and the quality. The original ones were Italian leather. If they came out with Italian leather for these, it would be ridiculous. I think people would buy them, but uh, I don't think that's going to happen. If you guys miss Ginobili sneaker blowout, you guys want to go and check this article out and check out the video. It's hilarious. I don't know how. I guess he's been wearing these same shoes, and, and my article doesn't cover very much of it, unfortunately, because I found out a lot afterwards on Twitter uh, with Optimus and some other people we were chatting with. But uh, but yeah, he blew out his sneaker, and I guess he's been wearing the same shoes for like since like '09. So it's like not a wonder that they bust at the seams just because he's been wearing them every day. So supposedly um, Ginobili is going to be jumping into some LeBron 11. So uh, check out Le uh, Ginobili's feet and see if, if he uh, is doing any better with those LeBron 11s. Um, Nas gets an interview by Cousteau. Uh, check out the interview there and go check out his article on Complex. Really cool. I just wanted to post this on my site to, to show you guys uh, his interview or whatever. It's it's cool that he had a chance to sit down with Nas, though. Uh, that would be an epic moment. Um but yeah, definitely a cool interview, and go to his site though for more more detail uh, on complex, um, and and you can see all like the the questions and answers and stuff like that from the interview. Reebok Insta Pump uh, Fury 2014 first collab versions you can see right here. Uh, some of those from Kicks Reason. Also, big news: Nike SB and the Air Jordan One get the official images. Uh, I've kind of wanted to speak about this. I haven't had a chance to really talk to you guys about it, so this is a good opportunity. The Air Jordan 1 and the SB collaboration is a big deal. Regardless if you like this particular sneaker or not, it's a big deal because it opens the doors for lots of things in the future. Now, there's lots of things in question. One, how is the quality going to be? Is it going to be SB quality or is it going to be Jordan quality? Um, Jordan, The thing that I have to say about Jordan quality is they're, they're producing 300,000, 200,000 pairs of sneakers versus maybe probably 30,000 or however many the other people uh, end up making or how much um, Nike SB makes like the the Tiffany Diamond Dunks were probably one of one of the biggest releases that they've had um, and that one I don't know the quality was mediocre on that comparison to some of the other SBs at least that I've seen so um, will the they be produced in Jordan factories or SB factories. I'm assuming Jordan factories because they're Jordans. So hopefully the quality will be good. But really the design element um, is what makes the SB world fun, how they really make a bunch of different theme designs. And if they can kind of encapsulate that on the Air Jordan 1, 
uh, I think that could be really, really cool things. Now, Jordan, the Air Jordan 1 kind of has that already a little bit, but this is a really a chance for them to expand way, 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 way further than, um, than the area that they've kind of been like other Jordan brand themed retros and stuff like that. This gives them a really big opportunity. Uh, so definitely want to see these. I got to get a pair uh, in person, whether it's from the first collaboration or, or any future ones. Also, what about like a, a Jordan 3 or a Jordan 4 uh, SB? Like the Jordan 3 is the one that, that would make the most sense because of the, the silhouette. It's a simple design, same as the Jordan 1, same as the, the SB Dunks. It's kind of all the same sort of thing. Um, so I think that, man, they could do some really amazing things with that. But anyway, uh, lots, of, I have a lot to say about that, but I'm going to stop it there. Um, Nike Air Force One denim low. It looks like, uh, right here. If you guys are interested in this article, clean my kicks wrote that Air Jordan two retro Concord colorway coming 2014. Uh, if you guys want to see that supposedly, uh, five ten is going to be the release date, uh, on those. Uh, which is right after the release of the Concord 11 lows, interestingly enough. The Air Jordan 3 infrared detailed images, if you guys didn't see those yet, Lamar Got Soul wrote that article. And uh, those things look pretty ridiculous. They are coming out next week, March 8th, so stay on the lookout. I'm sure a lot of people are going to be wanting to swoop those up. I'm one of them included. Um, the Air Jordan Future officially was announced uh, with some official images, two colorways, um, a kind of a, a black and red colorway, and the black ones with the glow soles that you see here. March 15th is the first date. We're going to see those. I'm still um, on the fence whether or not, whether or not I'm going to actually pick them up. But uh, but I think that they look good casually. I think it's kind of a cool invention. Um, I think I spoke a lot about those already, so I'll go ahead and pass on that. Jor Jordan SB collab, though, that was before they teased it, before they actually showed the images of the shoe. Uh, Reebok Pump Omni Zone first uh, in 2014. Um, if you guys want to see that. Kicks Reason wrote that, and along with the Big Hurt uh, gets a release date. Uh, and let's see, Foam Posit 1, uh, this one's coming out this weekend, and there's a possible release of the Penny Shooting Star PE. Uh, we've been seeing some images out there, and and I didn't even know that it was possible that it was going to happen, and um, Gentry himself actually hinted, uh, he's, a, he's a Nike uh, employee, like a, a bigwig over here at Nike, and he, um, I say over here because it's in Beaverton, but uh, but he hinted that these might actually be getting released, and you can see that from the article. Uh, you can see his tweets and stuff like that. If those actually released, it would be ridiculous because those were a one-of-one one PEs from Penny from years ago, and uh, I would definitely be wanting to cop those. We have a lot of pretty dope-looking um, foam posits coming out, regardless if you like them or not. The the Supreme Pack is going to be an interesting one. The Yeezy-inspired colorway and the Shooting Stars and... I mean, it's it's going to be an interesting year for foams. Um, I'm looking forward to, to seeing where they take things. Reebok Insta Pump Fury Factory Tour. If you guys didn't see this one, definitely check out this article from Kicks Reason. Lots of really detailed photos of the uh, manufacturing of the shoe, which is pretty cool uh, to see how it's made. Also, another one, um, a video actually from Kicks Reason uh, from his YouTube channel. If you guys want to go check that out and show him some love, uh, he does a review on some uh, some Reeboks there. Um, Undefeated Lunar Force Ones. Those actually dropped today. And if you're watching this video, go to Undefeated's website if you're interested in the shoes. They still had a full size run from when I checked about two hours ago, um, my time. So this will be maybe five hours or four hours before you guys see it. Regardless, go check them out if you guys are interested. I was actually really tempted to pull the trigger on those just because of the black and the orange liner, but I decided not, not to this time. Uh, I actually held myself back and didn't get a pair of sneakers, right? Like that I have access to. I mean, if they're available, sometimes it's like tempting to just not, um, just want to go out and buy them. But anyway, Nike uh, KD6 EXT Floral uh, detailed images. Quite detailed and, and quite an intricate de design on that upper. It kind of reminds me of a, an old person's couch. Like like the, the embroidery or whatever, not the colors. But so, kind of funny. And by old people, I mean my parents' couch. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Anyway, uh, Nike uh, LeBron 11, Reverse King's Pride. It's a GS look, but those things are straight sexy, sexy, sexy sneakers. I need those, man. I need those. I need those in uh, men's sizes. Uh, so hopefully they actually release. No release information yet, but when we see them getting leaked, it's kind of ridiculous. Look at these ads. What is this all shapes and sizes? And why do I get a um, Zulu Lily like on here? It's so ridiculous. I was talking to my web guy, just asking him like, why are we getting these dumb ads on here? I, leave a comment. Let me know. Do you guys get these dumb ads too? Because this is stro solely con um, controlled by uh, Google and uh, and the way that they are on their ads. <laughs> but it's just ridiculous. Uh, this has turned out to be a f kind of a ridiculous episode. Anyway, 
Air Jordan 11 Aqua Lows, uh, more images of those. Those um, supposedly coming out uh, pretty soon as well. Look pretty crazy, actually. Nice uh, sneaker for the for the ladies. I'm sure some fellas wouldn't mind picking those up as well. And why not? I mean, it's an aqua and white. It's not like it's a straight-up feminine color. Um, LeBron 11 Stealth First Look, those look pretty crazy as well. Just all black, hints of like kind of graphite-looking um, black accents. Looks pretty cool. Air Jordan 1 um, KO or the AJ KO High. Uh, Chicago release date is happening supposedly on 315. I believe that's actually true. I wrote this article, so I should know. <laughs> uh, it, no, it is actually uh, released on the Nike um, calendar. So I'm looking forward to that one. It's been quiet, though. Nobody's really been talking about those ones yet. Um, everything's been on the, the Jordan future. While you guys are fo focused on the future, I'm definitely going to be trying to swoop up those uh, AJKOs because I didn't get the pairs when they when they retroed last time. Uh, we get a look at some KD6 Elites on foot. Curious about the color themes. It doesn't seem like there's a uniform theme with the Elite series this year like they've had the last two years. Maybe because the success of, of the series in the last two years has made it so it just made them go off on their own and do their own individual thing. Still, still curious to see what happens with, with the actual launch of the Elite series and when it's going to happen. It should be happening in the next couple months, I'm imagining. This is music to my ears. Damian Lillard supposedly is going to or is opting out of his contract with Adidas, meaning he is available as a sneaker kind of free agent. Will Adidas try to um, force her hand and really, really give him more money, give him the signature shoot he deserves, or will Nike or Jordan brand pick him up or pick him up? And if you go check out the article, it will actually show you guys images from his Instagram before he signed with Adidas. And he has a ton of, of Jordans and, and, and Nike sneakers. So it would be interesting move. Like, I know that his heart's in Nike and Jordan brand. I'm, my ask is that Jordan brand pick him up or Nike picks him up as, a, as an athlete. It'd be amazing. Like, I think that he has big things uh, coming for the NBA. I've been saying that for a while now. And you guys can tell that from his, his season this year. So looking forward to, to seeing that kind of develop and see where it goes. Um, the Nike uh, LeBron 11 Elites. This looks very similar to the other colorway of the actual LeBron 11s. Uh, it has the same logo on the tongue. So I'm not sure. It's kind of interesting to see the, the same theme from an Elite and a regular LeBron 11. Which one are they going to be re releasing? I, I have no idea. Um, maybe some of them are just samples and we're not ever going to actually see them. Uh, speaking of um, LeBron's, there's some LeBron Low images out there. Two different colorways. Uh, I'm not really feeling the LeBron Lows personally, but that's that's just me. Uh, leave a comment and maybe let me know if you guys are, are feeling those things. Also, the other part of the undefeated pack, the Lunar Force Highs, uh, with this red, crazy-looking red, like rugged um, suede material. Um, those ones are, are available, I believe, in a full-size run as well. Uh, we get a look at the Air Jordan 5, or 3 Lab 5s, three lab 5 Lab 3s um, on field. I'm sure everybody's going to call them the 3 Lab 5s as well. Um, on feet, and they look pretty nice, in my opinion, as well. Uh, I'm definitely... Uh, I'm, I don't know how I'm going to be able to swoop up enough shoes in March because there's so many, February killed me, so many um, things happening. Anyway, this was first images of the South Beach LeBron 11. I thought it was a Nike ID, to be quite honest, but it's actually not from what we're hearing. So kind of crazy uh, to see that. At least, we don't, at least we have a little bit of a better ad. It still has no relevance to the sneaker site whatsoever. But anyway, Nike LeBron 11 Elite. Black and mango kind of detailed images. Or it looks salmon colored. Those things look pretty damn sexy though as well. Um, I'll definitely be picking up at least one pair of the elites. I got to be selective with the colorway because I don't want to just grab any of them. Um, and most people know if you buy the elites, it doesn't mean there's there's basically no resale value on any of the elites, uh, historically speaking, except for the the Miami Vice colorway. Um, so if you're buying them with the intent to resell, I would think twice. Uh, uh, Kicks Reason had a, a, his Monday. Uh, signature series right there if you guys want to check that one out and also the rail uh, uh, an article on the rail a sneaker that, that is coming back out and another one on the Omni um, zone so he's covering his his share of Reeboks like crazy uh, props to you man Susie Spring um, 2014 lookbook from Joe uh, Manning if you guys want to check that one out feel free Billionaires Boy Club uh, vault collection also um, and he posted these a while ago, actually, and I never published them, so I apologize to him for not actually publishing for everybody. Um, also, I did a comparison or a, a review of the Powder 10s last week, if you guys missed that. And this was the actual release information on the launch February 23rd for the Tiempo 94 pack, um, which I got two, two of the three of them. And uh, Supreme Releases 2014 lookbook again. Uh, another lookbook here from A. Valdez. 
and Reebok Insta uh, Pump Fury. Insta Pump Fury. I gotta say that three times, five times fast. And, and I believe there's one more little article. Yeah, the the, the Ronnie um, Fag uh, uh, Asics Gel Light Five uh, possible new collaboration. Those actually look look pretty crazy. But uh, that's it for this week's sneaker news. Uh, as for release dates, this calendar is is being updated because there's uh, been some image issues with it, and this is obviously not right. The the future release date is March 15th, and so this weekend we have the Ligers, the Phone Posit ones, and uh, what else is dropping this weekend? Um, those are the the two big ones I guess that are dropping. There's a whole bunch more I know that are dropping this weekend. Leave a comment. Let me know. Are you guys picking up anything this weekend? I haven't been keeping the release calendar up to date as often as I would like because we've been having issues with the site. Um, so when we get the new layout like this, it will be a, a, like a much, much improved release calendar, and I will make sure it is um, update like with everything. So uh, anyway, leave some comments on the thoughts on the new layout. Do you guys like it? Do you guys hate it? Um, words of wisdom for improvements. Background is going to be changed, and, and uh, some other things here and there that I've noticed I'm going to change, but all in all, I like it. Have a good one. Thanks for this long-winded video. Have a good weekend. And uh, we'll catch you guys later. Peace.